Hello everyone, my name is Nitish and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the best feature that has been added for ASP.NET Core web developers. The main feature of any web application is that it works on multiple devices. It works on your browser, it works on your mobile phone, also on your tablets. But during the development, we were having some limitations about these devices. We were only having access to the browsers and on that browser, if I want to test something for the mobile device, then the only option was that I have to open the developer tool and then choose a mobile device. But now in Visual Studio 2022, a new feature has been added and you can run your ASP.NET Core web applications directly in your mobile phone from the Visual Studio. Let's open the Visual Studio and let's see how it will work. Here I am using this Visual Studio 2022 and the version is 17.5. Make sure you are using the 17.5 version of Visual Studio 2022. Remember one more point, this feature is not available on Visual Studio for Mac as of today. If you are using some old version of Visual Studio, then make sure to update it. To update that, you can click on this help, click on this check for updates and over here you will get one option to update your Visual Studio. I have already updated it and this is the latest version that I am using. It is Visual Studio 2022 and the version is 17.5.0. Let's close it. The name of this feature is Dev Tunnels. And to enable the Dev Tunnels in your Visual Studio, you have to navigate to these tools. Then click on these options. And under this Environment tab, you will see we are having this Preview Features. Here, you will see we are having this checkbox Enable Dev Tunnels for Web Applications. Just check this one and click on the OK button. And let's create a new ASP.NET Core Web Application. So here I can click on this file New Project. And here I'm having this ASP.NET Core web application. Let's choose this template. Click on this next button. Give any meaningful name. Let's say here I'm having dev tunnel and click on this next button. Here we are using .NET 7. Let's leave everything as it is and click on this create button. And this is the application that we are having. To run this application, I can click on this button. And you can see that the application is working fine on my browser. If I want to test this application on mobile device, then the only available option was right click on this page and use this inspect. Then from here, we have to use this mobile phone. Like this. Let's just toggle it over here. And now you can see that we are using this mobile phone. Here I can use any mobile phone. Let's say it is iPhone 12 Pro. And this is how we used to work for the mobile devices during our development. Let's close it and let's see what is this new feature. To work on this dev tunnels, you have to click on this drop down. And here you will see we are having one new option with new dev tunnels. None is selected by default because there is no dev tunnel in my system as of now. We are having create a tunnel and we are also having this so dev tunnel window click on this one. So here you will see we are not having any kind of tunnel as of now. To use this feature, we have to create one new tunnel. Let's click on this plus button or we can also click over here directly on this create a tunnel. Now, the important part is that you have to log in in Visual Studio by using one account. You can use your personal account. You can also use your company account. And over here, you have to give a meaningful name to your tunnel. Let's put a name like my first tunnel. And here we are having one option tunnel type in the tunnel type we are having two options first is temporary second is the persistent the difference in between them is that the temporary will work only for some short time and whenever you will run your visual studio again then every time you will get a new url if you will choose the persistent over here then your url will not change every time you will use the visual studio so here let's use the temporary and then we have this access for the access we are having three options first is private second is organization and third is public if i talk about the private then the tunnel url can be accessed only by using this account if i'm using this organization then this url can be accessed by anyone in your organization third is public if i'm using public it means anyone can access it and no authentication is required so here for the learning purpose let's use this public and click on this ok button you can see we are getting a message your dev tunnel has been created successfully click on this ok button just save all the changes and let's use this drop down again go to this dev tunnels and here you will see we are having this my first tunnel and this is something i have created just now if i will click on this one so dev tunnels window 
then you will see that I'm having the details over here. I can also create multiple tunnels in my system. Okay, now this dev tunnel is already selected and let's run this application this time. This time you will see we are having a different kind of URL over here. And here we are getting a message that you are about to connect to a developer tunnel. Let's click on this continue button. And this is something we are getting from our local application. This is the message that we have. This is the home, privacy and the welcome page. Now let's assume that I want to access the same thing on my mobile phone. Then you can simply use this URL and you can open it anywhere publicly. While you are accessing this URL, make sure this Visual Studio is running in the local host. If you will stop it, then this URL will not work. Just take out your mobile phones or tablets and enter this URL in the browser. And let's see what you will get. So here I'm using this share option. Click on this send to device. And this is the phone I'm using. And here you will see that I'm getting this notification to access this URL. Click on this one. And you can see that I'm getting a similar page over here. If I click on this continue button, you can see I'm getting the same message on my mobile phone as well. And here you can notice that the UI is responsive. And if I click on any of these menus, then everything is working fine. Now let's make some changes in the Visual Studio and let's see how it will work. So for that, I'm going to stop this page and just open this solution explorer. Over here, we are having this pages. We are having this index index.cshtml. And in this welcome, I'm going to just update this message here. Let's say I'm having welcome Nitis. Just save all the changes and run this application again. Just make sure that you are using that same tunnel. This one, click on this one. And here on the browser, we are having this updated message. If I will refresh my page over here on the mobile phone, then you can also notice that I'm having the updated values on my mobile phone. This is the best and life saver feature for ASP.NET Core web developers. You can test your entire application on multiple devices during the development. What do you think about this new feature of Visual Studio for ASP.NET Core web developers? Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And if you are having any questions, then feel free to ask here in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.